Hello there, everyone. This is Lucas from Enterprise Repair and Automation Edmonton again, bringing you a uh, quick DIY hack that I invented. Um, been using this for a while, um, and I use it to do things like um, bleed brakes or um, just create a vacuum in any type of system that I want to create a vacuum in. Um, this doesn't create a very, very large vacuum, but um, it creates enough of a vacuum that you can get things done. And um, you don't have to go out and buy a really expensive vacuum pump or a brake bleeding tool or anything like that um, in order to bleed your brakes with control and um, uh, not make a mess and all that other kind of stuff. I've seen a lot of really redneck ways of bleeding your brakes out there and there's just no control and people make a mess and you really don't want that stuff ending up in the environment. So um, today, what, what I actually use is I use one of these thingies and what these come off of are soap dispensers and in this case, this is a Purell hand sanitizer refill. So, um, it is, uh, uh, these pumps are strong enough and it will move a viscous liquid like Purell. So it'll work really well with things like brake fluid and everything like that. Now you don't get a really, 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 really high suction out of them, but it is a one-way valve and it will help you control the flow of whatever fluid that you want into a vessel so it doesn't all end up over the, all over the ground and into the environment and everything. So just to show you that it works, um, I've hooked up a, this is a uh, vacuum, uh, a vacuum gauge. This is for uh, your fuel pump or your uh, intake manifold testing. And uh, I just have an old leftover piece of um, hose that was from an old intake manifold and I just zip tied it tight to the, uh, this blinds on the, um, the uh, input outlet, I guess if you wanted to say, of the vacuum gauge. So if I just put this in here, A second here kind of hard I'm doing this one-handed of course okay and we look I pump and I can almost get 10 inches yeah, 10 inches of mercury on the negative vacuum side and it holds as you see the one-way valve holds so being that this is good enough to move Purell which is a viscous liquid, it moves brake fluid really easily or any other type of hydraulic fluid that you need to drain and you could be uh, using it to, well, you can use it to bleed just about anything, I guess. But yeah, so I just thought I'd uh, send out this hack to everyone out there. Uh, no need to buy a really expensive brake bleeding tool. Uh, all you need to do is find yourself uh, an old soap dispenser or uh, an empty soap dispenser refill. And if you see, we'll pop it off and bang, it goes back down to zero again. And yeah, I apologize guys, my um, fuel pump vacuum gauge is kind of old. Um, it's been set by hand to zero and it's it's gone out again, but it's good enough for what I used it for for this purpose. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll bring you some more.